But first, a local beach community cracking down on kids before the start of spring break. A new curfew is now in effect in New Smyrna Beach. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. So business owners hope it will prevent what they call a mob of teens during spring break. News 6's Troy Campbell is in Volusia County tonight. The city voted to approve the curfew for any teen under the age of 18. It all stems from large crowds of teens that gathered here along Flagler Avenue last spring break. Last year during July 4th, we no longer had the emergency curfew, and we had several hundred youth congregated at the end of Flagler Avenue. New Smyrna Beach Interim Police Chief Eric Feldman showing the city commission cell phone video along Flagler Avenue last spring break. Uh, at one point, the news started throwing firecrackers at the police officers, including an immediate firecracker. I don't know if you've heard one of those go off next to you in the dark, surrounded by hundreds of kids, but it's, it's unsettling. The new Smyrna Beach City Commission approved the new curfew ordinance, which restricts anyone under 18 years old from being outside from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Sunday through Thursday at 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. on Friday and Saturday nights. Some residents expressed concern the curfew could be overreaching and increase the amount of police interactions. And sometimes we take it too far. And uh, I'm for the law. I'm for right. I'm for the standards of this community. But I'm not for opening the door for another reason to do something that's out of bounds. A second motion also passed, which requires the police department to submit a review of the curfew to the city commission during their first meeting in October. Business owners along Flagler Avenue say they don't want to see what they describe as a mob like they witnessed during spring break 2022. The, the curfew is just a tool. And it's a tool that I feel that your law enforcement people have to have the tool Some community members also voiced concern for who would be responsible to pay a curfew violation. The city attorney says if the parents weren't aware that their child was out, then the child would be the one responsible to pay. In New Smyrna Beach, Troy Campbell, Getting Results News 6.